Out in Shelby County, Alabama, hidden away in the woods, there's a small cemetery that not too many people know about. Only the locals that live nearby know of its whereabouts. There are a few historical Alabama figures buried out there, and some of the local people have buried their relatives out there. It's a family-owned cemetery. But a local lady named Miss Margaret, a sweet little old lady in her late 70s, still goes out there and tends to the grounds. She sweeps away the leaves, and she tends to the graves to make sure that no weeds are growing up, keeps the tombstones clean and the, the flowers straight. There are several rows of graves there, and there are a few miles of limbs. One day she was out there, sweeping away, tending to the grounds, when she heard a little voice sing out to her. Turn me over. Miss Margaret stopped in her tracks, and she listened to the silence around her. Only the breeze whistled through the branches and the nearby shrubs. So she continued sweeping away. Turn me over. Miss Margaret's ears perked up this time. She knew she had heard a voice. She turned and listened as the breeze blew by, and she heard it again. Turn me over. She followed the sound of the voice a little ways, walking through the rows of tombstones and looking left and right. Someone had to be out there playing a prank on her, and she was going to find out who. Turn me over. As she got toward the end of the rows of tombstones, the voice grew louder. She kept walking in the direction and finally came through the bushes to where the mausoleum sat. Turn me over. Was the voice coming from the mausoleum? She stepped closer and listened. Turn me over. No, the voice was not coming from the mausoleum. Rather, it seemed to come further away from a little small building they used as a storage shed, past the mausoleums. She walked toward the little building and noticed that the door was ajar. As she got closer the door, to the door, the voice just grew louder. Turn me over. She crept up to the door and looked inside, peered in at the darkness. Turn me over. She stepped inside the door and made her way through the tool shed, pushing away the mower and the tools that were blocking her way. She made her way through the storage items toward the back where she saw a crack in the wall. Turn me over. She noticed a light glowing inside the crack and she stepped toward the wall, pushing away boxes. She crept up and peered through the crack. Inside, she saw flames leaping up through a grill. A spatula lay beside it, and a hamburger patty sizzled away on the grill. Turn me over! She reached in, took the spatula, lifted up the patty from the grill, and flipped it over. Thank you. Thank you.